Hello. Um, some people have been writing comments. Some, some people clearly know what I'm talking about and some people don't when it comes to British pantomime. British pantomime has nothing really to do in its modern form with the old issue of mime. And it, uh, it really owes its origins and its present form to a combination of forces, mostly to a uh, music hall. A music hall is this amazing tradition which began in the late 18th, early 19th century and led to the building of some of the greatest theatres that we've got across the UK. Um, and it also led to the laws about screwing uh, chairs down to the floor, about the safety uh, precautions all the way through the theatre that we still use today and that we've exported across the world because music halls were rioters. And the modern pantomime, uh, some, some people say it's all about the Feast of Fools, which is uh, that amazing um, thing that you see celebrated in the Disney film Hunchback of Notre Dame um, about the Lord of Misrule, the Saturnalia, that, that, that old ancient Roman festival where things were turned upside down and the masters became the servants and the servants the masters, blah, blah, blah. And this, of course, was a great feature of Tudor England. Uh, but pantomime did not necessarily take place in the 19th century and into the 20th century at Christmas. So the idea that it's all about Twelfth Night and it's all about this craziness is in fact a slight misrepresentation. Uh, but, there, but that is there and today maybe that's something we should emphasise because most pantomime today is taking place around Christmas time. Uh, and we've got so many traditions associated with it, which still go on, which I think we should be very proud of. The pantomime horse, the ridiculous costumes, the, the horse or the cow, uh, where you've got two people stuffed in a ridiculous um, situation where, of course, we know it's not real. Uh, the, the, the pantomime bird, as in uh, Mother Goose. The use of slapstick, that's something that we developed so, so much through the pantomime tradition. Uh, this comic device of falling over or be a physical comedy that we were able to explore export to Hollywood in the early days of Hollywood uh, you know the Max Stennett the the, um, the 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 Keystone studio the Chaplin Stan Laurel all brought up in the pantomime school in the UK um, and 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 a, and a, a tradition where we combine children's entertainment with the, perhaps the borediness and the heartiness and the uh, audience participation that we knew of from 19th century music hall. Um, but, um, but, but, but it's open to innovation. So I remember going to the pantomime years and years ago and seeing, I think, Molly Sugden, uh, who was a, a great television actress, playing the part of the dame. Traditionally, the dame is a part which is played by a man. This woman... Uh, who is really a man and makes no pretense to be anything other than a man talking directly to the audience. Um, and today the principal boy, the, 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 the hero, would generally be played by a man, not by a woman, whereas in the past we, we had this uh, mix of genders. The, the, the man would play the dame, the girl would play the hero. And indeed, you know, there are photographs of uh, the late Queen playing the principal boy uh, with her sister playing the part of the princess. I think it was Cinderella or something, or maybe Aladdin. Um, and uh, the other feature about pantomime, which I think is worth noting, is the, is the elaborate use of improvisation. The stock characters and all of this comes from the Commedia dell'arte tradition and, and that's what that's what we were trying to do that's what gave us the word pantomime mime but because of the music hall influence there there really isn't a form of theater in british theater tradition which is more vocal so pantomime is a deliberately vocal 
version of using some of the stock characters from the Commedia. So, for example, you've got the Vecchi, the old man, the Pantalone, the, um, the, 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 the fellow who's basically a randy old fool. Um, but you, you get that also from Seneca, from ancient Rome. We see him updated in the Up Pompeii series with Frankie Howard. The, um, we, we, we see him in a funny thing happen on the way to the forum. Um, Capita, uh, Capitano, the, the captain who brags about his achievements, his military achievements, and is actually a pompous coward. Um, he's there as well. And I, I, I suppose the part I'm going to be playing is really in that Vecchi tradition, uh, but he's supposed to be a lovable old fool. Uh, th then there's the Innamorati, the principal couple. That's Aladdin and the princess, Cinderella and the prince, Dick Whittington and Alice. And the servants, the Zani, are the ones who really get exploited in the modern pantomime tradition. That gives us the dame and her sidekick, the, the sort of howdy gang character, who I suppose is a modern version of Harlequin. Um, Harlequin... Uh, or, or, Traditionally hungry, but always magical in this extraordinary costume. And, and so you expect to see bright costumes, bright, jolly, entertaining, diverting, um, frolicsome, fun. Uh, none of it entirely uh, believable. All of, it, or, 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 or all of it really at the service of the audience. And uh, I, I'll do a second piece and I want to talk about Joseph Grimaldi, the clown, David Garrick, Dan Leno and particularly John Rich and, and these are the historical characters who brought the tradition of pantomime um, to life on the London stage and, um, and, and, and made that transition from mime, uh, that unspoken theatrical tradition from Italy uh, together with the Commedia dell'arte tradition and fused it with English Music Hall. So I'll, I'll do a second part later on. Look forward to that. And um, uh, do follow my channel, please. I'm, 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 I'm off to do pantomime myself very shortly, so I will keep you informed and I'll keep you updated about the history and the technique and um, my experience of trying to do it. <laughs>